Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2 Early Access. And guys, we are back at Slovakia, and we're going to see what we can do about doing some float fishing. I think that is the next thing in order. We're going to go ahead and jump back in here, if we can. No problem here. Yeah. Okay. Now, I believe we're at position 1, which is... Not a bad position if you want some trout, but I think I'm going to be fishing for a little bit different stuff in this instance. One of the things I want to get are the grayling. Now, I did do some recording yesterday, and, well, there were some updates that were made to Microsoft and to a few other things on my computer. As a result, it did that weird thing where it messes up my microphone so it's going through my computer instead of my headset and I lost well I had the footage but you couldn't hear anything <laughs> so I'm basically having to start all over again here and try to do this again so hopefully everything's gonna go alright but since that time I'll let you know that I did manage to earn enough money to purchase a feeder rod which in the next episode I think we're gonna do some feeder fishing so, our bottom fishing, or whatever you want to call it. But for now, we're going to go ahead and stick with what we had done and lost. And that is, we we're going to try to fish for different species with float fishing. Now, I have, was fishing with the dragonflies with a 16 size hook. And I was catching a lot of eyed. But I'm going to see if I can't try to get some grayling too, if we can. Now, I've got the weather set for clear in noon at the moment. That's kind of the default. I think what I might do is go ahead and go into the map. I'm trying to decide if I should stick my you know stick with what I have at the moment, see what I can catch, or if I should change it to something different here. Well let's just see what we can get at the moment and then we're gonna go over to a different spawn point and try probably evening. I think we'll do evening. That's when I caught the grayling. I want to I want to try to get a decent grayling if I can. Grayling tend to bite more at n in the evening and at night and they really like dragonflies. So we're gonna see what we can do with that. Yeah I think we're gonna go ahead and try the dragonflies. Might try casters see if we can't get some roach or something. I was able to complete a mission when I was in the previous session that didn't record right but let me check what my missions are at the moment let's see we just have this one that's it well that sucks I have to catch sea trout which they aren't even present here so there's nothing I can do with that might change my depth a little bit maybe, well, maybe not looks like I got a decent I don't think that was a brown trout. I think that was a brook trout. That's a big one. Really big. This might be a record for me. Let's check the underwater. Yeah, that's a brook trout, guys. Where the hell did he come from? Yeah, he's put a lot of pressure on this because, you know, for a brook child, that's that's significant. 
Honestly. Let's see how big this fella is. Two star brook trout. Yeah, I thought he was pretty big. Let's see what we got here. That's a nice fish. Let's see, what is he bringing? $37? Yeah, we'll keep him. Yeah, and the last one, I also managed to catch a five star bleak, believe it or not. And that's actually, that's actually like as good as you can get. Let me go ahead and open my fishing net here. Right now, all I have in here is a, the brook trout, but I did go ahead and place that bleak in my trophy room. And I think afterwards, we're going to go ahead and check him out. Because he should be in my trophy room that we can check, you know, check him out on the uh, trophies that they have. Let's see if we get another brook trout. Yeah, there's another one. Dang, gone. Oh. We have found the brook trout location. It's a decent one. He's not quite as big as the last one, but, well, he might be, actually. He's putting up a bit of a fight. Holy crap. Yeah, he's he's holding his own. Come on. He's not wanting to come, is he? Alright, we're going to speed this up a little bit. We've almost got him in here, guys. He's bigger. Three star. That's pretty damned amazing. We have seriously found the a great brook trout spot. See, I'm using a size 8, right? Well, I'll tell you what. Maybe we can up it a little bit. Let's see, do I have a six? I don't have a six. I have a seven. And I have a five. Yeah. I'd rather it was a sprout, honestly. And a four is all I have. Well, let's up it to a four. That's kind of chancy. But that might mean a really big brook trout. If we could get a five <laughs> if we could get a five star brook trout, that would be an amazing thing, guys. Cause that's as big as they come. And this is where they seem to be. Well, a four is a little bit big. I really wanted to go to a six. I don't, I don't have a six. At least I don't have one that I can use. I might have a six on one of my other poles, but I don't think they're going for it. Let's see here. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go to the shop. See if I can't get a sprout hook. Number six. There we go. Let's change that to six. No, that's that's not it. Wait a minute. Well, let's try throwing that out there and see what that does. No, 
they were biting at a number 8 and they were biting at 16 with no problem especially Let's see if it goes for a 6 alright I think what I might do guys I think I might change positions here let's go to the map let's go over to 4 here now this particular location is really good for the grayling so that's one of the reasons I came here but we're also going to try to see what we can do about trying this number 6 hook to see if anything's going to go for it as far as trout go or if it has to be 8 or smaller I really don't know if it needs to be we're about to find out here if nothing goes for it I guess we got our answer now rainbow trout will go for just about anything of all the trout in this particular game they're the most ravenous so there's one right over there he doesn't seem interested in this at all so that is a bit suspect I don't know why it's going all the way over there to be honest Yeah, I'll tell you what, guys. Let's switch that back off to an 8. Well, actually, let's make that a 16. And we'll, we'll keep it as a dragonfly. But we're going to go ahead and go back to the map. We're going to change this to evening and we're going to take this to a cloudy sky there we go everything's changing up and we're going to see if we can't find a grayling alright we're going to change our float depth to one meter I'm going to look around and see if I don't see anything. Sometimes you can see them swimming around real close. When I had recorded earlier, I saw a grayling just off the, where I'm lo sitting right here. He's just swimming around, minding his own business. But this seems to be a really good location for them. They're not easy to find, guys. That's why I'm trying to make this a little bit... A little bit easier for you guys. Okay, one meter is pretty close to bottom. Well, actually, it's dragging the bottom. Might have to go to half a meter. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. there's one right there guys there's one right there let's see if we can get his interest there's another one too be nice if we can get more than one yeah over here in position four is real good for these guys come on fella he's right there damn it come on seriously okay we got one of them anyway there we go there we go we got him there's a grayling he's only one star he's kinda small 
But $32 at that size, guys. We're talking great for getting cash. If you can get them, they're worth a lot. I hope I can get that other one. There was... There he is. Now we're talking. There's another grayling. He's a little bit smaller. But at least you can get a decent look at him. Notice that long dorsal fin. There's a lot of blue under fins. A real pretty fish. Real pretty fish. It's kind of why I like him. I'm hoping I can get a few more here. Let's see. This is, seems to be the prime time for getting them. Well, not getting an underwater camera view because it's too close. So, hoping something will just go for it. Hopefully, a grayling. Let's do this a little bit better. Okay, I saw one. There we go. I think... Th is that a grayling? No, that's a rainbow. I thought I saw another grayling close by me. There, there's one. We got one. We're getting some small ones here. What's going on? <laughs> Let's up the hook size just a little bit. Yeah, I'm just kind of looking around to see if I see one that's in close here. They really like this particular location. What you can notice as far as a landmark goes, guys, you see that rock right there? And it's just off, if you look, check the map, you can come out here from either three or four, but you got to come out to the middle, right in front of the bridge. But the rock is the key land feature that you look for, and you just kind of look around, see if you can't see grayling. Some of them swimming kind of close, and you right-click your mouse button to lob it in. Try to keep it close to where your location is. If you can't, well, that was terrible. Let me try that again. That should work. Okay, let's see. I'm going to let the current carry that out a little bit, but they're usually right around here. And if you left click and stop it, we might have a chance of getting a bigger one, I hope. There we go. Well, we're out of... Ooh, this one. This one's got a little more oomph to him. There we go. That's a two-star railing. That's so far the best I think I've gotten at $51, guys. 4.78 pounds and $51. You betcha I'm going to keep him. Actually, let's see if we can get a better picture than that. There we go. All right.
So I caught him off a size 8 hook. See what we can do about getting another grayling. It'd be nice to get a real big one. And we got an eyed. Damn. <laughs> the eyes are always around. We're just gonna release him. Once you got a size number eight hook, the eyes seem to be the primary thing you catch. I would go for their XP more than their cash. The cash is not nearly as high. Yep. Yeah. No? No, it's a grayling. Awesome. There we go. This one's got some more imp to it as well. Let's see what we got here. Two stars with best we were able to do. Still another two star. 57 though. That's a new personal record at 5.34 pounds. There he is. Yeah, I've been getting a lot of a lot of the grayling here. This is a really good spot. There we go. There we go. We got one. I think this is probably going to be our last one, guys, but I think he's got a little more oomph to him. Hopefully, he'll beat the two stars. No, no, he's still two stars. Well, shoot. Still a nice fish at $54. We'll keep him. But I think at this point I might switch over just to a 16 and see if we can't get a, a couple of bleak here, guys, because we haven't tried them for a little while. Now I was catching them off of casters, but this spot is also a great location for them as well. And they usually bite best at night or in the evening. We're going to try in the evening because we can see things a little bit better, but let's see if we can't get us a bleak. Now Roach also go for the uh, casters. Quite a few species go for the casters. But most of them are not located here. The only ones I know of for sure that go for casters are the Bleak and the Roach. And that's a Roach. So we got the one species I was just talking about. That's a good size one, honestly. Two star one. We'll release him. He's not worth anything. There we go. I think we got what we're after here, guys. That looks like a bleak. And... Yes, indeed. Common Bleak. Five star. Got another five star. That's the second one. He's not my personal best. So I'm not going to put him in the trophy room, but I will definitely keep him. Yeah, they're little bitty fish. Not worth much, but you know, just kind of fun to catch. I think all the species in these games need to be represented. That's one thing I do in Fishing Clan as well. I try to catch every species of every size. That way I have thoroughly covered each and every one of them. 
I think we got us a roach here. Yep, a little bit of roach. One star. We'll go ahead and release him. Have not caught my personal best yet, so we're going to keep trying. Looks like a couple of big eyed off in the distance there. But there is a decent roach. See how big this fellow is. Now he's a two-star roach. That's that's getting up there. 1.41 pounds. We'll keep him. We'll keep him. And let's give us one more try. Okay, something is spazzing out there in the distance, and he went for it. It is a common roach of some size here. Ooh, three star. Three star. New personal record. Yeah, let's take a look. Can we take a look at him? I guess not. Well, I thought maybe we can do a picture, but yeah, we can. We can. That is a decent sized roach, guys. That's the best I've caught so far in this entire game. Very nice. I don't know what's going on with that <laughs> line there, but. We'll go ahead and keep him. Actually, I might taxidermy him for now because he's the best I've caught so far. Well, anyway, guys, I think what we might do is I think I'm going to go ahead and end this here. But before we do that, let's go off to the trophy room. I'm going to take a look at that bleak that I got. And we'll add that roach to it and see what they look like. All right, let's go to the fishing net so we got some decent grayling I think we got two several yeah we got several two star grayling and we got the one five star grayling but I mean bleak but we've already topped that he's in there this one I think I'm gonna go ahead and add to the trophies The rest of them I'm going to sell. Let's go to the residence and take a look at what we've caught. Alright, sometimes you have to look around for them because they can be placed just about anywhere. Okay, they're not. Wait a minute. There's one of them. I think that's our bleak, but I can't seem to focus on him. No, he's not. Can't even read anything. Well, there's the roach. The roach you can see, 2.02 pounds. Yeah, it reads just fine. I don't know why the one over here does not read. I mean, maybe it does. I just can't see it very well. But that's it. it has to be. So maybe it's just for the smaller species. I don't know. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2. So until then, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.